hi guys so welcome back to my channel so today i am going to do something totally different today since a lot of people have been asking me about it i have decided to tell you how to use and give a brief review they are new alcohol markers i have talked about them in my stationery video which i will leave in the i card up there but today i am not only going to review this product but also tell you about how i use them as an artist and the ways you can paint and draw with them and do portraits and yeah stuff like that so if you guys are interested please do keep on watching and do subscribe i'm trying to reach 200 subscribers that would be really great and if you enjoy my content do leave a like and a comment about what videos in this format you want me to do next so yeah let's get started so these are alcohol markers and in this tutorial i'm going to teach you about how to use alcohol markers in general but the alcohol markers which i have are Dianyo alcohol markers i bought them on flipkart and i will leave a link down below and before anything i am totally not sponsored this is uh, all my personal opinion and this is what i actually used to draw so yeah I'm, I'm too small of a channel to be sponsored so be assured that this video is not sponsored so as you can see these are the colors which will be available to you in the 36 shades um, I'll, I'll go ahead and open it this is how it looks like as you can see I have used them quite a lot and these are not brush markers they are both felt tips one is a chisel tip like this another one is a felt tip like so and these are all the color options which you get and uh, what's good about this packaging is you can actually lean uh, your markers on the packaging and you can see the shape range and all of your shape while you are drawing so that's a really good touch i have made my own color scheme myself because usually the colors which you get on the barrels aren't actually the colors which you get on paper so I have got, I have made my own color scheme just by smudging the markers on a simple watercolor paper. So these are the swatches and these are the ones for the skin tones which I'll, I'll show you in a moment. But these are the, but this is the set of the colors which you get in this particular set. So you do get your gray scale and you do get all the primary colors which you would need for basic drawings. So now i'm into drawing portraits so i have purchased this separately for myself and i kind of busted the packaging because i travel a lot you have your shades right here and then the swatches are right here and i have made the swatches of these markers in the same sheet as my previous 36 color shades so i do recommend these markers because i haven't used any more high-end markers than these but i feel like they do do the job and uh, if you are um, someone who is trying out uh, or beginning to experiment with alcohol markers i would suggest going for these instead of the expensive color options or expensive variants okay so now uh, let's get on with how to use alcohol markers so this is the paper on which we'll be drawing it's a simple watercolor sheet it's really really tiny it's it just plain handmade paper and first i'm going to sketch out the person we are drawing and i'll speed up the process i'm using the same brand bianos pencils which i have talked about again in that video and this is just the beat pencil so yeah and um, the person we are going to be drawing today is Jon Snow seeing that the season 8 just got ended although nobody is really happy about it and we won't get into that but I just thought this would be someone really nice and really known to draw so
now as you can see i have sketched out the basic lines of the face and then i've rubbed them out because these lines tend to show through the markers and give a really dirty effect to your drawing so just keep that in mind when you are drawing with paint especially watercolors or markers which are uh, translucent i do suggest that you rub out your pencil marks or use skin toned or a warm pink toned pencil to draw your sketches with i think we should first start with the face because whenever you are drawing you should start from lighter shades to the darker shades and as you can see uh, john snow here he has a very very dark atmosphere around him his clothes are dark so the lightest part about this sketch is going to be his face so that's what we'll start with we'll take out the swatches because um that's what we will follow and not the colors on the barrel so before actually showing you on the actual drawing i will first want to show you how these ma markers actually swatch this is how they swatch they're really really pigmented and they have a lot of color payoff so just keep that in mind when you are drawing otherwise your drawings may get too dark than they actually should be now the basic thing which you should know when you are using alcohol markers is blending so here let's take this light shade of skin as you can see that's the basic shade of skin and say we want to blend it out with a little bit of a darker shade which is this uh, y611 so there are two methods of blending first method is using the blender which has been provided it's called zero because it has no color it's just alcohol and it is only used for blending the other method is taking the lighter shade of the two and blending it out with the darker shade above it so let's blend it with our blender first so the blender lightens out the color overall and that's how it creates the blending now let's blend it with the shade lighter among the two now as you can see this one created more seamless and more natural blending so that's what i would suggest you doing if you are drawing something professionally or you are creating a painting that is blending using the colors and not the actual okay blend. having shown you how to blend the colors in the basic form let's now start with the actual painting at hand let me zoom in okay so as you can see he's really pale so what am i going to start is with this color the lightest the lightest color that we have although it appears white on the barrel it's actually a really light skin shade so that's what we are going with and i usually prefer using the chisel tip because i feel like it gives you more cleaner lines but if you want to do some precision blending then you can use the pointy tip now this is where i would use the blender and blend it out a little bit also lighten some parts which i want to be lighter see the shade in itself layers on its own so you can create shading just by layering this one color but i don't really suggest that because that would appear very dimensionless but in areas where it's really light you can use that technique so this is our base color now i would suggest doing the eyes because they are kind of coming in my way and i just want to get them over with for the eyes since it's a really really minor drawing i will use my fine liner so i'm just using uh, a micron fine liner um, uh, in the size 0 
going to add some shadow to the eye using this shade right here it's a grayscale shade and even though it's this light this is how it actually you know this is how it actually looks and now as you can see i actually hit uh, his uh, pupil so i'll just fix that with a white jelly roll As you can see the marker spreads out the pen as well which is not ideal in all situation like for example if you are doing line art you wouldn't really want that to happen but in this case it's really beneficial But I'm more inclined to 302, so and it will look really dark. But with the help of blending, I hope that we can bring it down to the shade we want. So I'm first putting down my blender because I'm scared it will be too dark. I'm still using the same shade we used in the beginning but mixing it with a little bit of black and the pinks don't be scared to add the colors because if you do a mistake you can easily correct it with your jelly roll So just keep on layering your colors until you feel satisfied. You can honestly do as much as you can. There is no end to how much you want to layer the colors and blend for it to be realistic. give much detail to the body because uh, my main point was is how to blend out the colors and we'll just do a rough outline so that the emphasis goes on his face
okay guys so this is the finished drawing which i did to show you guys how to draw with alcohol markers so i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys learn something which you didn't know of course i'm not a professional so uh, don't take my words too seriously this is just to help you guys and tell you what i know personally and what i use for my own personal drawings so yeah i hope you guys like it um comment what you think or what you want me to show or do next leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and bye bye